Hello, crypto lovers. Yes, 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 yes. We love crypto. Huh? I love it too. And I'm only 25% exposed to it and 75% fiat. And that's hurting me. It's hurting me because there's no crash. Uh, it's just not happening. Um, the last correction was from $4,800 Bitcoin went down to $3,000 that I was sitting and watching and not buying anything and then um, but um, since then that's now a month back or so I've been going more aggressive with my crypto within my crypto portfolio uh, and I've uh, been buying some bite ball that has gone down and black bites also uh, but um, and also following the blue magic uh, capital portfolio more again mm, and all of course selling uh, Bitcoin selling also Bitcoin cash uh, selling um, set cash selling Monero before I already told that but I've been selling coins for other coins but I have not uh, invested yet any fiat into crypto back again but I'm starting to really consider that because um, I am really afraid that uh, we're gonna get another bubble uh, like in 2013 it was actually five months or so uh, uh, after the first bubble a five months sideways movement and then another bubble we're not there yet this time because the last new all-time high is very recent it's only one month ago so it could certainly be another three months sideways movement but even in that time frame there is no serious serious new low uh, that means lower than 3000 and uh, there's just no bear market here and it's just a sideways movement and I will likely move in back with uh, fiat and I'm afraid uh, I should do so now because the moment the old all-time high of $4,800 is breached uh, well we're back in it into a new bubble and uh, and this thing can, can go straight to 6,000 and and alts can go to new all-time highs um, not only in fiat eh, because in fiat they are close to the all-time highs still eh, many alts but in Bitcoin value most alts have corrected seriously versus Bitcoin now past month uh, could buy two uh, versus Bitcoin but since Bitcoin has doubled um, they are at, this, at all time highs uh, in fiat value but uh, if we go continue this bubble then uh, the alts will just uh, go to new all time highs versus Bitcoin and, uh, and, 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 and versus fiat uh, it will be double as high as the old all time high so Ethereum that's $300 well or 380 well then it goes straight to 500 600 700 dollars and and all the other alts too uh, but bite ball too um, it has gone to $800 uh, that was all time high and then it corrected now to $200 that's a serious correction in fiat value actually I think there is opportunity that's why I've been buying that uh, but um, but uh, yeah I see also I, I, I have to say it's not easy eh, to do a successful cryptocurrency project and and I certain things I like a lot about Bible uh, but uh, it has also problems indeed it does have a marketing problem and I've seen this before in NXT uh, many coins um, uh, don't have a business model uh, and and that means that um, uh, they are dependent on volunteers or, or basically uh, coin holders to um, do the marketing and, and not get paid for it uh, and, and and that's a problem um, and, and and it's also the case in in Byteball though Byteball has a community fund uh, and and that is actually financed by uh, the coin supply eh? but there is no sustainability in this business model it will end eh? half of the coins are distributed the other half will be distributed but I think it uh, what after that who's gonna pay for everything it will all be dependent on donations that's I, for me a pity and bite ball and a great thing to see in projects like Zcash and Zen and and dash where you have a continuous uh, inflation actually Zcash stops also after 
four years, uh, then there is no uh, money anymore going to the deaf team. I think that's also a pity. But Dash, for example, is, 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 is there is no, like it will continue to have a piece of the inflation go to the development and marketing efforts. I think Dash by far uh, did the best job in building a sustainable business model uh, in a crypto. And, and they have been greatly rewarded for that. Uh, but um, I think this coin will go, uh, go, go uh, will continue to be a great success simply because of that. Um, but still, um, like over the past three, four, five months, I started to become bearish and and, and I've sold a lot of, of fiat for uh, cryptos for uh, fiat. But I think today. The best move probably is to move fiat back into 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 crypto. Um, but I'm gonna try to have the discipline to wait for uh, corrections. If we indeed continue to have a sideways movement, and that's certainly possible, uh, then we will probably correct uh, from time to time in fiat value. Uh, and, and there will be more buying opportunities. So probably to correct again to maybe three thousand five hundred dollars Bitcoin. And in the meantime, maybe the alts also go down a little bit versus Bitcoin, and then uh, and then you have new uh, interesting uh, opportunities to get in. Uh, of course, get in at prices higher than I've sold crypto. So uh, it's 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 an admission of a, a mistake of mine. But uh, yes, I'm there now. I I I I have just realized I've been wrong. I, I've gone too much to fiat. Uh, my last rebalancing was 77% fiat and 22% crypto only. It was too much. Um, I, I've set my targets wrong. Uh, um, the, the thing that I set my targets like that because from, from the beginning of this bull market, I've said, okay, Bitcoin will probably not go as high as it used to uh, because it lost a lot of its momentum and it's making mistakes. Transaction fees goes up, so a lot of the momentum will go towards uh, alts and other other cryptocurrencies. And so um, I will have to set uh, just uh, my targets for Bitcoin lower than previous bubbles, and and I will have to scale out quicker. And uh, and I've overdone that clearly because I thought that already at two thousand eight hundred dollars that um, that uh, probably we were at the peak. Uh, but no, uh, uh, there was indeed a correction there to two thousand the thousand eight hundred dollars. But then it back back up to two thousand uh, three two thousand eight hundred and then it overshot that and we went straight to four thousand eight hundred, back to three thousand. Now we're back at four thousand four hundred. So. Um, So, so 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 what change what 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 what, what 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 why do i change my mind now why 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 don't, don't i continue to believe that yes the the odds are higher for a continued bear market for the coming period well because um i don't know i don't have real good reasons for it actually um it's a feeling and and i've I think that's important too that you follow your feelings but you have to be careful eh? but there's a difference between following your feelings of greed and fear eh? uh, that's not good eh? when things go down a lot you start to become fearful you 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 the losses are hurting and then you're gonna act that's not smart or when prices go up a lot and you have not bought and and so you're missing out and and and, and you start to feel like ah oh, fuck i really have to buy otherwise i'm gonna miss out that's not a good feeling to follow but the feelings of just being in touch with the market eh, and and what's happening in the market that is important and many people have tried to <laughs> warn me that uh that uh they think it will go a lot higher and uh, I haven't uh, followed their um, their guidance and, and, and I'm paying the price now. Um, but these same people today think that, yes, uh, it's not finished, still not. Uh, and, 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 uh, and, and, and they think that, um, that there is a lot of money waiting on the sidelines right now to get in uh, and getting in. Um, and, um, and, 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 and it's just way too much to have a bear market and... Uh, and, um, and um, that, so that's what they think and I think they might be right and and it, it's not like this time is different um, actually uh, this is also a mistake I've made um, um, it's just that 2013 it all happened before um, 
uh, that you had two bubbles behind each other and only then you had the big bear market of uh, that took two years and that cut or chopped off 90% of the fiat value of a coin on of the coins on average eh? uh, but this is not what we're seeing today uh, and, um, and, 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 and and I think uh, I'm wrong in expecting it to see um, uh, no um, no I think that um, uh, we, we will see that sooner or later but uh, the odds are becoming higher is going to be later uh, we first we see another 10x and then we see a 90% correction and that means from current valuations once the bubble starts, um, you know, all the fiat that's sitting on the sidelines and waiting for a correction, uh, it can't get in anymore. Huh? So, yeah, th those are my thoughts. Um, and, um, yeah, I think the right move for me is to move some fiat back into crypto, but only in those things that I really see as a steal that I see as versus fiat, it's still cheap. And that's of course not the top 10, um, even though some of these projects are very good. Uh, but it's um, it's certain projects that's just not seen by the market. For example, Black Bytes, uh, Byteball is, well, uh, it has just corrected a lot, but within Byteball, you have the Bytes, the, 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 the currency that's traded on the exchange, uh, Bittrex and some others. But you also have black bytes that's not traded on any exchange and that's uh, the privacy currency of byteball and um, i think this can have a higher value in the future than the normal bytes the black bytes because privacy is uh, can be is very important uh, for some sectors of the economy and and so um you have uh, not uh, you have some offerings uh, but um but uh, like Monero, for example, with transaction fees of these of Monero goes up a lot. So the search for alternatives will be there. And Byteball has with Black Bytes a solution. A solution that's very different from uh, a proof of work coin. Uh, and, uh, and 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 um, yeah, I mean the value of Black Bytes is 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 now it's thirty three times cheaper as as Bytes. And Bytes is has a market cap of about hundred million. Uh, and, uh, and 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 so uh, the black bytes has a market cap of about six million uh, because there are 2.1 times more black bytes in circulation than white bytes uh, but uh, but but and that makes that uh, actually the market cap is not 33 per, uh, uh, times cheaper but only 16 times cheaper and so that's about six million but a market cap of six million for a privacy coin is very low as Especially if it's built on a new technology like a DAG technology that's a lot more scalable than proof of work. Hmm? And uh, even uh, maybe even a lot more scalable than proof of stake because both of these still use a blockchain, a traditional blockchain. Uh, and, and DAG basically is different than a traditional blockchain. So, so I think this is a steal. I think the wise move for me is to move fiat into investments like this eh? but also some others um, yeah um, some others uh, too uh, and um, I think that's the right move for me yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video bye bye